Well, we weren't out going out to beat it at all. What we were trying to do was fly in a balloon competition. The balloon competition was this thing called the Gordon Bennett, and it's to fly the longest distance. So that's our competition. And we were Great Britain number two. We're representing Great Britain in this competition. So um, uh, there was various options we could do. If you've kept low, then you um, could possibly get to Spain. If you uh, kept high, then you could possibly get to Italy and then Greece. And that was the best route because it gave you the longest distance if you landed in Greece. Um, but um, what we decided was that if to do that you had to fly through Italy at night and that was forbidden so we decided not to do that. The next route was through um, to Sardinia and then, not Sardinia, to um, uh, the Balearic Islands, Mallorca and Menorca and so uh, we thought about doing that and then come down lower and then get the track into Spain so we thought that gave us the best option so we decided that was what we were going to do. And so we went for a flight, and it meant spending 30 hours over the sea to get into Spain. So that meant that we didn't get into Spain until the Monday evening. And then uh, we flew through the night, because uh, we're heading for Portugal, trying to get the longest distance. And uh, somebody texted us uh, in the morning to say that uh, we were on for the Women's World Duration Record, uh, which we had no idea that we were going to even, you know, the, you know, the, uh, you know, what it was or what, that we were going to break it. So we got this text message saying that if we were still in the air at 11 o'clock, we'd get it. And of course we were. We have broken a Women's World Record for duration. 11.58, we then have flown longer than any two women in this whole world. <laughs> yes! What do you think about that? <laughs> Congratulations! We ended up uh, flying 69 hours and 22 minutes and the record as it was it stood at 60 hours or something. So uh, three days um, and so we broke it by at least nine hours. And we were going to fly on through the night, uh, but we ended up being short of ballast. And I decided that we'd had a good flight and we weren't going to win. Um, um, so we decided to make a safe landing. So we got 69 hours and 22 minutes landing at sunset on the Tuesday night, having taken off on the uh, Saturday. We came six, uh, and uh, that was very, very good for us. It was excellent. Uh, Anne had never, well, Anne, it, was sec it was Anne's first Gordon Bennett, and it was only her second gas flight. So that was amazing that uh, we could do that together. And all our team was new. It was a balloon I'd never flown before. It was a different sort of uh, parachute top. Um, but those things don't really matter. Um, it's just getting uh, the balloon stable and um, um, getting the good conditions and a lot of luck as well. So. It is a lot to do with the weather conditions, but what, what sort of preparations do you have to do to go on a flight in a balloon for nearly 70 hours? Yeah. Believe me, I was at it for a whole, I don't know, long time in advance. Um, uh, you have to have a transponder. I don't have a transponder of my own. Uh, in the continent, they use something called Mode S. We use Mode C in England. I have a Mode C transponder, but I don't have a Mode S. So fortunately, Andy Elson, who's a balloonist that's flown long distances, he lent me his, which is very grateful for him. You have to get oxygen, so I borrowed his oxygen as well. So I had to drive and get that. Uh, then I had to go to Maplins and buy some electrical equipment uh, because obviously in the balloon to power things you need electricity so I had to get that. Uh, we also um, uh, borrowed lots of other things including life rafts and life jackets which we actually rented from a company so en route to Germany because the balloon I had to pick up from Germany. So I had to drive down and pick that up on my way through to Germany to get the balloon and uh, that was so just lots and lots of things like that. So. There's three of us in this tiny little bus. Oh, he's landed. And that was a stand-up landing. So that's very good. <laughs> Is that good for us? Well, it's good, good to know that it's like that on the ground. So. There's three of us in this tiny little basket. Mm. How on earth do you get life rafts, oxygen, food, and everything else in a basket? Ah, well, um, we have a. I think the basket is probably just a little bit bigger than this one, um, but uh, it just all fits in, and we have a bed in it. So a lot of things like these sandbags go under the bed. <laughs> um, so the life rafts aren't very big. We try and uh, use very lightweight equipment because obviously we want to. Um, the idea to win the race is to um, have as much ballast as you can. So the lighter weight you are, the more sand you can carry, the longer you, the, you can go. So um, all the stuff, very lightweight equipment. So. And what about sleeping, eating? 
Yeah, well, <laughs> with all the other things one has to do. Mm. It's nice to eat and sleep, but... Uh, yeah, your radio check. Sorry. Um, yeah, it, uh, you take it in turns to sleep. And I fortunately can sleep very well. So, uh, Anne had a few problems because she's not, uh, what's the word, she's not um, used to sleeping in a basket and doing that. So she was quite excited as well about Looks flying. Extreme. So uh, it took her a while to get to establish a routine, but um, uh, we managed. Anne's written an article about the, um, uh, the flight and in it she says getting the sleep was the hardest thing for her. And also the sun. It was very, very hot in the basket because we had blue skies and um, you just, you know, it's like being sat on a beach in Spain uh, for 12 hours and uh, she got quite sunburnt. So. Uh, we had a sunshade, um, but it was just, I think it was just the heat and everything. She hadn't thought it would be like that. But at night it gets really cold, so it's quite a contrast really. So. See, it's hard work then because, I mean, even just on this flight, you're concentrating very hard, you're monitoring the, 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 the wind direction, the height we're at. Mm. Yeah, um, it's slightly easier in a gas balloon because, um, especially when you're over the sea, because you don't have to navigate or anything. In a hot air balloon, um, especially here, it's a built-up area. You've got lots of city. Um, you've got to burn all the time to keep the, uh, the the balloon in the air, otherwise you come down and hit the ground, and you don't want to do that. <laughs> um, in a gas balloon, um, you don't have to burn because there's no burner, and we're flying on hydrogen, um, it, so it's just it's just there, and you just fly. So the only thing you have to do is make sure she's sort of level and if she looks as though she's coming the balloons coming down it's a very high rate then you have to throw the sand down so um, so normally it flies itself a lot more than a hot air balloon would it'd be much uh, to do that duration a hot air balloon would be very tiring significance of, of beating the women's duration record. Mm. I mean, it's a hell of an achievement, isn't it? Well, it's great because um, it's a great achievement and, you know, I'm on a high for the next four weeks about it, but what was the achievement was the flight because the flight was fantastic. Um, the records are secondary to me for the flight because I've actually got some records, but, you know, it's nice to have the record and be able to say it as well and it's just suddenly think, okay, yeah, you are the person that's gone, I'm the first woman that's gone the longest in a balloon, but I was flying with a man, so a distance, um, so that didn't count for a record, but this is because there was two women, it's the longest duration and that's pretty cool. Yeah, so um, there's some records. I'd like to fly the Atlantic. That's been my ambition for a long time, uh, just trying to get a sponsor. But I've always been working too hard to get a sponsor. So maybe one day we'll do that.